God greets us this morning with the words from Revelation 1, verses uh, 4b to 5a. Grace and peace to you from him who is and who was and who is to come and from the seven spirits before his throne and from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead and the ruler of the kings of the earth. And we respond with the words from verse 6b. To him be the glory and power forever and ever. Amen. Our confession this morning comes from a very familiar passage from Matthew 5, verses 1 and 2. Now when he saw the crowds, he went up on a mountainside and sat down. And his disciples came to him, and he began to teach them, saying, I didn't prepare a kid's message this morning, but I think I'll ask the kids, what do you think Jesus began to teach the disciples? How to live? Love. How to love. Yep, yep. Anybody else? Well, that's very important, is it? How to teach them how to love. This is what Jesus taught us. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Let us respond with open the eyes of my heart. 